Hey there guys, Danny here. Welcome to my ramblings. Um, today I would like to talk to you about revenge. Um, I don't personally believe in getting revenge. If somebody has wronged me, that is between them and the Lord, not me. Um, when I was younger, it was it was it was difficult to bite my tongue. Um, it it was a hard thing to learn. The older I get, the easier it is because I, I don't revenge. I don't have a reason to revenge. If you did something wrong to me, I now know where you need to stand in my life, which is you don't. You are at arm's length. At that point, you cannot get close to me. I will never be able to have a close relationship with a person that has done me wrong that, that most people would want to get revenge on. And the reason that I don't believe in revenge is because the honest to God truth is it's not my job to correct people's poor behavior or choices. That's their job. And that is something that we lack in, at least in America, I don't know about the rest of the world, but I do know here in America, we lack um, a lot of um, accountability. Adults are horrible in this country for holding themselves accountable. Um, instead, they're, everybody's, everybody's the perpetual victim that their life is the way it is because everybody else did something to them. No. You played a part in it. You played a part in it. And until you correct that part in it, nothing's going to change. And if you're lonely and, and not understanding why you can't maintain friendships or relationships, you really need to look at yourself. Um, because the one common denominator there is you. And if you're not willing to look at yourself and correct yourself on your poor or bad behavior and hold yourself accountable, you're the problem. I mean, literally, it's that simple. <laughs> You're supposed to hold yourself accountable. If I see that I did something wrong or I was rude, I will be like, oh, God, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Sometimes you're in the middle of doing something and somebody might call you or might come in and, and, and into the room where you're doing something and they might, they might question, they might ask you a question and you're still in the middle of whatever you're doing that you might say something that's slightly rude in a tone-wise. And at that point, I'll be like, oh my God, was that rude? I, I, I didn't mean that. Uh, we don't hold ourselves accountable. And if we did, then there would not be a need for revenge because people would be acknowledging when they screwed up. So I don't do revenge because honest to God truth is, it's a waste of my time. How much time, how much time, think about it, how much time does it require you to Think about how you're going to get revenge on this person. Oh, well, I'll tell everybody this, or I'll do this, or I'll do that. How much time and energy are you wasting on planning out revenge? I don't value money as much as I value time. And that's just too much of my time wasted. I have no desire to plan out revenge. You made your bed, and part of laying in your bed is you can't be close to me again. I will never allow you to have a very close relationship with me. I'll still socialize with you. I'll still talk to you. I'll still be polite to you. But I'll never let you have a close relationship with me. Never again. Because you did me wrong. And you can't even acknowledge it. You can't even, you, you can't even, you can't even hold yourself accountable. And part of accountability, here's the part that, 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 that gets to me, is people want to say, so if somebody calls you up, or comes by and says, oh, I'm sorry I did this to you. If during that what they did to you was telling lies to other people, um, that apology is only a true apology when they go make those lies right with the people that they lied to. Because they treated those people that they lied to like those people are stupid. So they owe those people an apology too for treating them that way. And that is how apologies and accountability are supposed to be. The problem is, is we think that if we just say the words, I'm sorry, then everything's okay. That's not how it works. Uh, it has to be changed behavior. You feel guilt and shame because you're supposed to. That's supposed to, that's supposed to 
That's supposed to push you into, okay, I don't want to feel this way again, so let me make this right in this situation. And and that embarrassment and that humiliation you feel by getting honest after you've, after you've told a bunch of lies about somebody, um, that's supposed to make it so you don't want to do it again. <laughs> but we think that we can just keep on going the way we are and that, you know, people will always believe us. The truth will always come out. I don't care what anybody says. The truth will always come out. Always. And when it does, you can just sit back and say, yeah, well, I already knew the truth long before. You don't need to get revenge. You don't need to enjoy the moments of somebody getting outed for what they've done. The truth is, that's not my job. My job is to work on me and become a better person each day than I was the day before, to love my fellow human beings as I love myself, and to help where I possibly can. That's what the man upstairs asks of us. And once you start embracing that, uh, life is a lot easier. I don't have the negative thoughts that I used to have. Um, they do creep in at times, but um, I'm able to stop them and be like, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Uh, but I think the biggest thing is you can't take offense to somebody that is wronging you. And here's why you can't take offense. Because they're not wronging you. Somebody who is lying about you or doing something to make you look like a bad person and you haven't done anything, they're not lying about you because of who you are. They're not lying. They're not lying about you because you are that person. That you're what they're, they're lying about. They're lying because they know you're a decent human being and they have to make other people think that they're better than you. Once you realize that these people who are going to tell lies about you are, are, are telling on themselves and it's, it's, it's a projection, it's not about you personally, you don't care anymore. <laughs> You really don't. You're like, whatever. Now I know I don't have to hang out with you. I don't have to be, I don't have to be extra nice to you or, or kind to you or anything else. Um, you can just be polite when you have to deal with them. Other than that, you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. Because the truth is, they will get what they deserve. The truth always comes out. My whole life is living proof of that. Um, so, don't go out and revenge people. Figure out how to look at them and pity them. Don't feel, don't, don't empathize with them. Don't feel their feelings. Literally pity them. As in, the poor bastard is so delusional <laughs> that they, they can't even see the reality, so instead they've got to lie. The truth is, they know the reality. They just don't want to acknowledge it to themselves. And if they can convince other people of this delusion that they're claiming about you, then, then essentially these other people are telling them that they're correct. But if multiple people believe a lie, it doesn't make the lie a truth. It doesn't, it, 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 makes, it, a, it makes it a bigger bad thing. Negativity. Um, and misery loves company. Nobody's going to listen to it. Somebody comes to me and tells me that somebody that I just meet and, and I'm interacting with is like, oh, I, you know, you better be careful because this person, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. I will say, okay, thank you for the warning. I'll take it into consideration. The truth is, unless that person has done something to me or one of my children, um, and I haven't witnessed them be that way, I'm not going to assume that they're that way because somebody came to tell me. 90% of the time, the person that came to tell me either heard it through gossip or is trying to make it so that I'm not with that person. What their reason is doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. Um, but I make my judgments off of other people. I decide, and I shouldn't say judgments, but I, sh I should say I decide who's in my life and who's not. And if you have wronged me, then you can't be close to me. You just can't. I'm still gonna be polite to you. I, I'm, I'm still gonna be kind, but I'm not gonna go out of my way for you. I'm not gonna hang out with you. I'm not gonna constantly deal with you. I will deal with you when I have to deal with you and that's about it. 
Uh, so, you don't have to do revenge. Revenge is a waste of time and energy. It, it, when you value time over anything, anything that sucks up your time is too much. And I value time. I can't get any more time. I can always get more money. I can never get more time. My time is limited. I can't make any more time. So wasting it to me just seems absurd. So when somebody comes towards me with gossip or anything like that, or I've, they've shown to me that they're just trouble, I don't have time for them. I don't have time to whine and cry about them. I don't have time to think about them. They're really not, they're not taking up any space in my head because I don't have time for them. That's wasting my time. My time is better utilized interacting with people that I enjoy their company in helping people that need help. I get a lot out of helping people. Like the, the last couple, vi the last video before this last one, two videos ago um, with the guy who had no shoes and I was so horrified. Uh, I got something out of it. I spent money and I got, I, I, I got him shoes. But I got something out of it. What I got out of it was I got to feel good like I did something good for another human being. And nobody, nobody asked me to. Nobody, nobody told me that I needed to. I just know that that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't share these, the, 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 these stories with you in hopes of any accolades or any kudos or any of that type of stuff. I share it with you in hopes that you see my videos, you hear the stories, and you want to go out and do the same. We should be, we should be paying it forward always. We should always be moving towards bettering ourselves and the world around us. And if you see somebody that's in need of something and you are able to do it, you should be, you should be going ahead and helping them. If you're not, then you're not, you're not doing the Lord's work. Not at all. There's enough to go around. There really is. But we've become greedy. Anyways, I gotta go to work. Uh, I will see you guys later. Have a nice night. Love ya. Bye.